Hey guys, I just woke up and realized I didn't have a video for today. And that is like so not me. Like I plan in advance. I know what every video is going to be for like the next week. I plot things out. I'm very scheduled, very organized, and somehow I missed Wednesday. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't plan. So the spur of the moment video. Today I'm going to talk about my obsession with earplugs. It's an important topic and I think you're going to enjoy it. Here's the deal with earplugs, okay? I first became obsessed and dependent on them as a child when I'd have friends spend the night and they would breathe loudly. Not even snore. I just, I couldn't even, I couldn't sleep if there was someone in the same room breathing. <laughs> I basically needed to sleep next to corpses or I couldn't sleep. When we'd have sleepovers at my house, if a friend would be breathing loudly, I would take my stuffed animal and like hit them three times with it and then quickly pretend like I was back asleep and they wouldn't know because they'd wake up and be like, oh. My parents must have gotten me earplugs so that I could sleep. And I used to use the wax ones, which are really gross by the way. They're like clear wax. You put them in your ear and when you take them out, they pull all of your own earwax out. So then you've got wax earplugs intermingled with your own earwax to make I guess it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Your earplugs just keep growing in size because you're adding to the wax. But now, as an adult, I have found the best earplugs are foam earplugs. Earplugs all have ratings of noise reduction. The highest that I have ever seen sold is 33 decibels. That's how many, that's how many decibels of sound those earplugs will block. Typically, Stores will carry up to 32. You really don't want le anything less than 32, to be honest. I've seen 30, they just don't work. Actually, for my birthday years ago, my husband bought me an earplug, a massive earplug variety pack that had like a ton of different brands and decibel ratings, and I found the best are the squishy foam ones, not the hard foam ones. Those are hard to mold into your ear. You want the soft foam ones like this from CVS. You don't want the kind that are shaped like a cylinder. You want the kind that are shaped like a, I don't know what shape you call this, a Russian stacking doll. Look at this, like I will go through this in a month. <laughs> 50 pairs. I hear my alarm and I hear stuff, loud noises with both earplugs in. Like I've never missed an alarm wearing earplugs, knock on wood somewhere. Um, but if you're nervous about that and you can sleep on your side, you only need one earplug. So you sleep on this side, that blocks the noise of the pillow, and then you put it in. And now the proper way to insert an earplug, for those of you newbies, you want to roll it in between your fingers and get it to like a point. And then on an angle, you want to insert and twist. I found the twist to be the best way to get it in, to get it in deep. And then sometimes I like to hold it there until it expands, you'll feel it expand. All of a sudden your earplug is in and you're going to sleep so soundly by blocking out all the noise. Guys, trust me, I've been wearing earplugs since I was like 10. Trust me, I know the best earplugs to buy. When I worked at nightclubs in Hollywood, I wore earplugs. I'm an earplug connoisseur. That's my lesson today on earplugs. This is what happens when you do a daily show and you somehow forget to plan a video for the day. Uh, maybe this one will come out better than the ones I do plan for and a lesson will be learned here that I should continue to procrastinate and be a slacker. Anyway guys, uh, if you're new to my channel, uh, I'm always this weird. Check out my favorite videos to get you started. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I post videos every single day. Oh, oh, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Guys, for, for pictures of my earplugs around town. No, I don't do that. See you guys tomorrow for Throwback Thursday.